You know, one of the things uh, I looked at and continue to reflect when Hank extended the invitation is if, if you want to take a look at the future, maybe first take a look at the blessings that we have right in front of us. And the Dolly Museum behind me is certainly one of those. From an educational standpoint, our students have certainly reaped the benefits of this wonderful museum as well as, as the mayor expressed the so many um, cultural um, enrichments that our students have, not only in St. Petersburg, but throughout Pinellas County. I want to state a couple of them. The Dolly Museum entertains uh, not only field trips and admissions and reduced admissions for all of our students, but also entertains, and this is part of the theme about being innovative and reimagining the business. But also, and they, approximately 14,000 elementary students in our school district re receive the Dolly on the Fly. If you haven't seen it, the mobile unit, I mean, that, that is a, a definition of innovation in our community. We take the museum to the school and think about the amount of um, exposure to our students. But more than that, our visual arts teachers truly value this museum and truly continue to expose our students' work. For those of you who are parents, your students are, and if you're ever involved with an exhibition, your students are so proud to demonstrate or to show their artwork, no matter where. If you're coming to our school administration building, their artwork, 1,200 pieces are displayed, and they come once a year to show their parents. And, and thank you, Hank, and to this Dolly Museum for, for having a, a competition or contest and they take over about a hundred of our students work and this is museum quality work that is exhibited here at the Dolly Museum. This means a lot to our students, high school students, middle school students. I've been asked several times as today, so how do you see the future of education? Especially in the last 10 months I've probably been asked that question more time than I, I care to. And one of the things I, I answer is I believe that we have to continue to pivot and, and innovate our businesses. Those businesses and those, whether it be education or any of those who have spoke, have been able to do that. They will thrive and others might shrink or actually, unfortunately, disappear. And, and that's what we, and that's what I envision for education also. We have to expand the walls of our educational systems. We have to expand the day of our educational system. Thank you to Dolly and many of the others. We have virtual field trips. Um, and we also thank you for opening up your website to our students for the exposure of the work here at the Dolly right on your website to our students. This, this means everything because we stay connected with that. So the whole concept of, of expanding the school day, of expanding the school year, of expanding what somebody mentioned before, the learning platform, is really the future of education. And really, it's the future of all of our, our, of our businesses. So I've been here as superintendent, I've watched the Dolly Museum grow, and as I've watched the Pinellas County community grow for the last eight years. And I can say to you, I remember visiting the prior Dolly Museum uh, before even being superintendent and what a building this is to celebrate and also to look forward to the things that we collectively can innovate together and where, where might we bring this community, whether through education or through our businesses. So thank you for your leadership. Thank you for the invitation. I certainly look forward to a, a tremendous, and also thank you for a wonderful school board member that we have here too. So thank you, Laura. Thank you.